This is Queen Tin Hanan. She is a Berber Toreg queen, Caucasian, dark-skinned Caucasian, known to have built and founded the civilization of Mali back in the day. Quite often in my studies here, I'll have people bring up Mansa Musa. They love to talk about Mansa, and Mansa is, of course, from the Mali Empire, but that's around 1400s. AD and this happened in 400 AD clearly a thousand years before and it set up the great empire that was there and the cities that were there so when blacks try to claim that they started Mali it's kind of a lie because it was started by this woman and Toreg Berbers who were cast back from the Mediterranean and they created Mali. Let's look into this. Tin Hanuman is a 4th century Toreg mythical queen. They say mythical, but hold on. Her monumental tomb is located in the Sahara at Abalesa in the Hogar region of Algeria. Now, Mansa Musa is also a myth, and of course they've built upon his myth somewhat, but he's seen to be as someone who got extremely rich, but then peed all of his money away on nothing, pretty much. Just scanted away, uh, known to have done a big pilgrimage to Islam, you know, to Muslims in Islam, so. Uh, definitely under that guise at that time, and of course all the Moors, the Arabian Caucasian Moors that came in and uh, took over the area, definitely um, had a large play to do with that. Uh, Tin Hanuman is sometimes referred to as the Queen of Hogar and the Toreg of Tamanakot, which means queen, but the name literally means woman of the tents, and a lot of these people, the regulars, were somewhat semi-nomadic and tent builders, tent dwellers, and so on. But it also may metaphorically translated as mother of us all to these Toreg people. According to the stories told in the region, Ten Hanan was a fugitive princess who lived somewhere in the 4th century AD, driven from the northern parts of the Sahara. She and her caravan of followers, so the stories go, nearly perished in the wilderness until they stumbled upon grain in desert anthills. In other legends less corroborated, Ten Hanan is believed to have been a Muslim of the Berber tribe of Berbers who came from Tefalt oasis in the Atlas Mountains in the area of modern Morocco accompanied by a maidservant named Takamat. In this legend Tin Hanan had a daughter or granddaughter whose name is Kella while Takamat had two daughters. These children are said to be the ancestors of the Torg of the Hagar. Another version of that is that Tin Hanan had three daughters who had totemic names referring to the desert animals who were the tribal ancestors. So supposedly it comes off these three women that are from these two ladies and they're kind of confused on how many children each one had supposedly in the idea. It's looked at as being that they keep trying to pile more children on Tin Hanan because she was the queen. By the early 20th century the story of Tin Hanan had long been told and many believe that it was simply a legend or a myth. However, in 1925, explorers discovered her tomb, proving that she was a historical figure and not a myth. Located not far from the oasis Abelisa, Algeria, about a thousand miles south of Algiers, on a rounded hill rises about 125 foot above the junction of two wadis. The tomb is a pear shape on a plan with a major axis about 88 foot. It contains 11 rooms or courts. The tomb of Tin Hanan was opened by Baron Kuhn de Prorok with support from the French army in 1925. An archaeologist made um, a more thorough investigation in 1933. It was found to contain the skeleton of a woman, probably buried in the 4th century AD, on a wooden litter lying on her back with her head facing east towards the rising sun like is found in many many Canaanite burials and 
too many to mention. She was accompanied by heavy gold and silver jewelry, some of it adorned with pearls. On her right forearm, she had seven silver bracelets. On her left, seven gold bracelets. Another silver bracelet and gold ring were placed with the body. Remains a complex piecework necklace of gold and pearls, real and some artificial, they noticed, were present. A number of funerary objects were found. These included a Venus statue in the Organasian style, similar to the Venus at Holfels, which was actually a Venus dating back to the point that it's made out of mammoth bone. Now, they're not saying that she's doing Astarte or Inanna or Asherah. She's doing Venus. And when we look at Organasian state, it shows you that it's all over the north of Europe and Venus and we're very familiar with the Greek and Roman gods of Venus and Diana a glass goblet which was lost during World War II barbed arrowheads of iron an iron knife and a gold foil which bore the imprint of a Roman coin of Constantine I issued between 308 and 324 BC, the man that made the Council of Nicaea and put the Bible together. A 4th to 5th century date is, is consistent with carbon dating of the wood bed and also with the style of pottery that they have. A pottery lamp of 3rd century Roman style and other tomb furnitures. Tiffanon inscriptions are inscribed on the wall stones the, tome, the tomb itself is constructed in a style that is widespread in the Sahara, though hers was quite grand. And anthropological study of the remains published in 1968 concluded that the skeleton was that of a tall woman belonging to a Mediterranean race. This would be Caucasians. The skeleton suggested that she had probably never had children and who was probably lame because of deformation of the lumbar and sacral areas. In other words, she had extreme lower back problems and stuff. Uh, the body is now in Bardo Museum in the Algiers, and so they have this actual thing, and Queen Tin Hanan did exist, but if you want to look at who started the actual Berbers, uh, and who started Mali, I mean, into it, then you would be looking at this Caucasian lady and how it all started. Now... They always tell you Mansa Musa, and he did all these great things, but he was assisted quite a bit through the government that was already in place that was not a Negroid government in any way, shape, or form. And here's the truth and reality of the starting or the origins of Mali in the great empire. Like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy. Peace.